Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and this is the LG G Flex, quite possibly the most interesting phone in the world right now. So a video of this phone kind of went semi-viral last week from one of LG's official YouTube channels of this phone about its self-healing and durability. And ever since then, that's what people seem to want to know about when they hear the name LG G Flex. So that's what this video is for, testing the self-healing of this crazy, ridiculous looking new device. Now there are two aspects to the self-healing of this phone. One, the back and actual fancy material choices, and two, the actual curved design, or flex. We'll get to that in a second. But for the backing material, in their video, they scratch the phone up and down on the back next to a regular backing. Then after two minutes of sitting, the G Flex actually completely heals, almost while the regular phone is of course still scratched. Now, the back of this phone is actually really smooth to the touch, very glossy like the Galaxy S4, so it's easy to tell when you've scratched it because you can run your finger over the scratch and feel it. They have a bronze brush rubbing up and down the back of the phone with super even strokes. I'm not convinced that that translates into a real life scenario unless you walk around with a Brillo pad or steel wool in your pockets. So I decided to do a full test of my own the way I see a self-healing phone to be applicable against your keys because that's all I can think of that you'd put in the same pocket or bag as your phone. So it started off pretty smooth. I gave it a few clanks and scratches with the key to get it legitimately scuffed up and simulate being in the same pocket but the way I, I see it, I really don't like intentionally scratching new devices. So I did this for you guys, uh, so thumbs up for that down below. But sure enough, after a few minutes, the scratches were mostly minimized. I say minimized, not completely gone, but definitely way less noticeable than when they were fresh. This would be awesome if you like dropped your phone on the concrete and picked it back up, put it in your pocket, walked home, and then took it out your pocket a few minutes later and you'd barely even be able to tell you dropped your phone. Sounds great. But take a look back at that official video from LG and you don't exactly have to have eagle eyes to see that that is an ad and that they're using optimal controlled conditions for that experiment. And part of those optimal controlled conditions that they chose was an air temperature of 27.4 degrees Celsius, which is 81 degrees Fahrenheit, the equivalent of a very warm summer day. Uh, I don't have those conditions where I am right now. I'm by New York City, it's cold, it's windy, it's maybe 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius on a nice day out here. So I decided to try to simulate some of the heat to heal it by actually rubbing against the scratches really fast for a bit. Now, as crazy as you may look, trying to warm up your phone by clutching it to your body or rubbing it really fast or playing some intensive games, as long as you're not microwaving it, you can actually accelerate the healing process a little bit by warming up the device and, you know, that's a pretty neat trick. Now, finally, I took a knife and took a deep scratch clean across the back of the device right under the LTEA logo and tried a few things to warm up the device and heal it. And it's been a few hours since then, but the knife scratch isn't completely gone. In fact, it's still, I mean, it's about halfway gone, barely noticeable now, and that's still way better than any other traditional phone material, but it does take a while to heal. That's still impressive though. Now, the last part of this phone's self-healing has to do with the name. G Flex. Ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home with your smartphone unless somehow you also have an LG G Flex. So basically, this phone can completely go flat from its curve, and it's not damaged at all. Internally, I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, it has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, that's huge. It has a six inch display, that's also huge. And it has all the usual parts, like processor, RAM, and everything, but it does hold up to the flexing, just like they demonstrate in their ad, which is very impressive. Pretty much no other phone, especially the other curved ones, that we're looking at you, Samsung Galaxy Round, will come near this sort of resiliency. So in the end, these two curved devices out right now that are the most popular are named quite perfectly. The Samsung Galaxy Round is just that. It's rounded. And the LG G Flex, well, it actually flexes, and that's pretty impressive. 